Guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be going through Frankie Stu and Harvey Guns. Uh, let the light in. A uh, fantastic music video. Fantastic guys. Was uh, really grateful to be a part of this project. Again, I've got some BTS that I can share with you, but it is a one-shot video. So if you haven't already seen this, please make sure you go and check out the video. I'll link it in the description, but make sure you check it out, or this might get a bit confusing when we do the breakdown. Uh, as always, I will try and put as much BTS as I can, but as I was working on this one, helping, and it was a moving shot, and I was controlling the lights, it's not as easy as you think to get some BTS for this. But that being said, incredibly proud of it. Huge shout out to uh, everyone who helped on this, uh, especially for Just Upstairs and Evenings Productions for getting me on this. So let's start by talking about what the camera we used was. So the camera that was used was the one and only Arri Alexa Mini, so fantastic camera starting off straight away. And then we were using an Optima 16 to 40 millimeter constant 2.8 aperture uh, on that one. So a fantastic lens again there. But the thing that really helps set this apart was it was on a rotating rig. Now, you should have uh, checked out the video so you know what it is. There's no spoilers here, but it starts off so it looks like Frankie is in a coffin. And then from there, the set moves out and then you can see that he's in a room. And this is the constant thing that goes over until it gets to the last scene where you've got all the light shining through. So let's start with that opening scene. So we start off with Frankie here and we have uh, to start off with, we literally have one uh, one torchlight here. Now, uh, they told me that they searched around forever to get a orange torchlight because they wanted it to go with the color palette. Uh, so we've got the torchlight that goes on here and we have a 300D. So I should probably explain actually a bit more. So there were a lot of lights. And when I mean a lot of lights, we are talking six 300Ds or 300Xs, a mixture of 300X and 300Ds just for one shot that comes in at the end. We have a 300D with a lantern on over uh, Frankie's head the whole time. We had two Ari Sky panels further out to give a bit of uh, atmosphere. We did originally have two B7Cs as practicals, but one ended up playing up right at the last minute, so we ended up just swapping it for one B7C, which you'll see later. And then we had a 600C with massive softbox and even then muslin on it as a bit of a key light. So you can tell there's quite a lot of lights going on in this uh, music video, but it's fantastic and you never see them apart from the practicals you never see them so this starts off with the uh with the um the torch and then the 300 uh the 300 d above will slowly come on we then the walls uh walls push out and you can now see you see now as well always ma make sure you have your haze in this so we've got the haze going on the walls are pushing out you see frankie now the camera's twisting we've got Frankie uh, being exposed up top here by that 300D as well as the sky panels coming in. These are pushing out and then you've got that 600C coming on as well to front light him here and help with that. We then move here. Frankie was, this was a live set. Frankie was moving around and this was one take. So this was him really having to one, say the lyrics and act it out uh, and perform, which is great. So he did a fantastic job here. We've then got this B7C here. We would have had one on the other wall, but it didn't play game. Uh, the B7Cs, after working with B7Cs on this shoot, I haven't really put off them. I love Aperture's stuff, especially the MCs, but the B7Cs, got trauma from that. So here he is, it's really dark in the corners here, which is great because we've got that exposure up top. So I'll switch to the, uh, to, well, I'll probably go in order of the way this happens. So we, we go from this coffin shot to the walls getting bigger, to the walls being blunt round. Then we would go back, the walls getting smaller, back to the coffin shot, some more singing, back to this shot. And then finally, we ended with this shot. So I was in control of these apertures. So what we've got here is we've set the white balance so it's really warm uh, for some shots, but also these are coming in re and looking really cold. These almost look blue at points. And what we've got here is we've got, what happened was I was using the Sidus Link app and the iPad. I was putting the, them up one by one in a, in a bit more of a random order. And then with the haze and the, and the splits, as you can see here in the wood, it's shining through and creating this really cool layered effect with it. And we also had some, uh, some foil to help give the cone a bit of shape. Uh, and if we go to another shot, you can see here, it gives this really cool texture on him. Um, and then it ends with me just slowly fading them out one by one. Uh, so 
the BTS on this is really the bigger the bigger part of this, not so much me talking through it, um, as you can tell. Because it's a one shot, it's a bit harder to go through lighting breakdowns because you, I mean, the lighting is a very important part of it, but because it's so quick and so happening, uh, happening, it's mostly lights turning on, lights turning off. Uh, Misha, who was the gaffer for this, did an incredible job. Uh, I'll link him down below. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, breakdown of uh, Let the Light In by Frankie Stu and Harvey Gunn. Uh, if you haven't already, please check out the other breakdown I did. Uh, please leave a comment saying if you like this or not, like maybe or there's something I've missed. Uh, I'm going to be doing this for my own music videos, the ones I do. So I help out on these productions as well. I've got some other ones coming in, but my own music videos, I'm going to be doing a bit more in depth. Uh, maybe some BTS behind that. You'd prefer that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. So yeah, please like and subscribe and we'll keep it going. Thank you.